Hi guys, it's France with a very simple journal on Monday video today. This is week 68 and the first step in this very simple page is making an envelope out of a piece of craft resist paper by Tim Holtz. So I've just cut down the paper to the right size and now I'm adding some folds so that I have a neat envelope to work with. And of course I want that big butterfly to be on the front so I have to uh, measure and refold if necessary so that it all fits properly together. To have some round corners on the front, I'm using an Artemio punch and I'm also using a little circle punch so that I have, um, so that I can make a um, closing system for my envelope. I'm using Distress Ink to colorize it up and the fun thing with um, Craft Resist, if you don't know it, is that it has prints on it that will resist any water-based ink. So my Distress Ink won't pick up on that resist. And I'm using three colors here, which are the Rusty Hinge, Seedless Preserve and Peacock Feathers. But as usual, you can find all the details of the used products on my blog. I'm not colorizing the background, as it will be glued to the page in my art channel, so it wouldn't make any sense to do that. To blend the colors a bit more, I'm spraying some water, drying it, and then going back in with the Distress Ink to make the colors pop a bit more. And I'm re-cutting where needed so that it nicely fits when closed. Now you'll see at the end of the video that I'm not able yet to show you the finished product. I have to wait until Wednesday, uh, September 10th, because I want to add a tag that I made while demoing. And I can show it to you yet, so you'll have to wait. Adding my circle that I will use to close my envelope and while doing so I changed my mind and I wanted to do it with an eyelet. So I still want to use a circle but I want to fix it using an eyelet. So I'm placing, I'm placing my eyelet using my Rememory Keepers big bite and then on the second part on the front of the envelope I'm placing a bread. Then I added some sewing around the envelope and of course I did so before gluing it together. Then the background. Um, I'm first starting with the layer of mushroom fresco finish from Paper Artsy and I'm just following the three step uh, to have a crackled background. 
I hope you don't get tired of me doing this because I really really love this kind of effect. So first the light layer this time which is the mushroom one and then I'm going in with the glaze once the first layer is dry of course. So this is the crackle glaze applying it with a palette knife because you really need a thin layer and it's quite thick. Leaving it aside to dry and meanwhile I'm taking out the wording that I want to use. I really like this page because it really um, it, it really is in accordance of my feelings at the moment that I was making it. And I think that's the most important thing about our channeling, isn't it? Adding a bit of distress ink around the edges of my wording. And then finishing up the envelope. Just a little piece of thread so that I can close it. I want to place my wording on uh, some metallic mesh. So I'm just gluing it down with um, double sided tape. Then for the third layer I'm applying a London Night fresco finish and I'm doing so using a piece of cut and dry but you could do the same, same with a uh, sponge, just a normal sponge. using my heat gun to speed up the process and once it's dry I'm going in with a sanding block to distress it even more. When I took out my stamp, I realized that this is one of my latest um, stamp boutique stamps. I realized that I'm that I've been using it on all my pages lately. Well, means that the stamp that I did make was one that I really wanted. So I'm stamping using Versafine and using a dry cloth. I'm also rubbing. Uh, the ink partly away. I really want it to be some shadow stamping and nothing more. And I'm going back in. The first one I used um, the Punchinella circles and now I'm going back in with the stars. The stamp has four different prints on it. This is a piece of the, uh, a sheet of dictionary paper that I use to protect uh, the other pages of my art channel. So as you can see, this one has been thoroughly used, and now I'm using it as a background because the colors are matching. So it's ready to go. Sizing it down and then just adding some double-sided tape again so that I can glue it down in my art channel. This is Matte Medium by Ranger. It's um, the same thing as Glossy Accents, except that it's matte. It's a matte finish and it will help me to keep my uh, metallic mesh on the paper.
While I was making this, I received some very, very happy mail from Carla. Carla, if you're watching this, huge, huge hug, my love. I really, really, really was um, totally touched by what you sent me. And the little card I received from Carla will go inside this envelope, so this is really, really just perfect. I'm adding some doodling using a black and a white uniball pen. First going around the page and I also added a little sticker um, that points toward the envelope to remind me what's inside of it in case I should forget. And then also adding some white to the butterfly to make it pop a bit more. Doing the same on the letters of my wording. And the wording says, Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. And it's very, very up to date with, what, with what's happening to me right now. This is a new um, stencil by Crafters Workshop and using some gesso and a piece of cut and dry, I'm adding some accents again on my page. And I'm going over all the elements so that they all work together in the end. Voila, that's it. I hope you liked today's page. Check in my blog tomorrow to see what's behind the tag. Ta-da!